biggest mistake with Microsoft Teams webinar. I'm Paul Kuijs and help businesses uh, with Microsoft Teams, SharePoint and Copilot for a living. That's why you can be sure that after watching this video, you won't make this mistake again. So uh, let's get into it. So I have my Microsoft Teams open and we are going to create a webinar. And in this case, we are going to start here, webinar. We uh, make it a webinar uh, mistake and um, we are going to add some description. And for the rest, we leave it a bit. Yeah, we can do the. We leave this as well. So it's just uh, uh, a basic webinar. One thing uh, I want to point out is that you have your configuration for your webinar here. And that means that basically when you uh, publish your site, uh, you can, um, you get a link and this link you can email to other people. So for example, uh, you can uh, send it to somebody else and they will get an, um, uh, a registration and uh, that's the way how it goes. So this is fine. Um, but in my case, I want to do this webinar anonymously. So I want people to join anonymously. So what do we need to do for that? Because um, if I share this link or uh, when I co copy the link to the event, let's do that. Copy link, paste it as well. We still come to the, um, to the webinar uh, registration page. So that's not the way we want. Um, so what we will do is uh, let's go back here and the first thing we are going to do is we are going to uh, details and we are going to change the meeting options uh, by the way you see that i'm creating this webinar in a browser when window so it's possible and what we want is that everybody is able to bypass the um uh, the lobby so that's fine I click on OK let's see if I got also got an email I don't think so no um, so now I would uh, guess that if I copy this link and go into this uh, webinar that I would get the direct webinar it's not the case so um, what uh, can we do more to get anonymous link? Um, this is the mistake people make. They go to here and they go to uh, open it, edit or not edit, um, dismiss, just open it, view the details. All right, let's copy this one. What happens uh, if it wants to copy? don't know why it doesn't copy let's see uh, if I can just click on it I'm gonna cancel and I'm going to click uh, copy this email and I'm going to my other settings and here I go what they get is this and I'm going to continue on the browser and they are actually uh, getting uh, allow. Well, I'm not going to use the mic. It's just a demo. So they actually get this admit. Um, so that's one of the first things. Um, but um, since the webinar didn't uh, start, I will start uh, the webinar now. So we know exactly what is going on. Uh, continue. Let's uh, join now. Yeah. 
If you liked the video so far, please give it a like and subscribe to my channel. That makes me make more videos for you. And um, if you ever are in need of somebody who can do your governance, let me know. Uh, you can contact me via the links in the comments uh, section. So thanks. We are going to continue now. I'll be waiting so I can admit them. And uh, it shows as an attendee. That's fine. But we, what we actually want is not this. Because this uh, gives away a few details. It gives away the, um, the actual pre presenter task. And we don't want that. So how can we uh, arrange that this works fine? Uh, let's go back to Teams. Now, uh, what you have seen is I opened uh, the meeting. Uh, so this is uh, one way you can do this and you can do this ahead of time. And what you need to do is click on a share invite, copy meeting link. And now we can go back to the this one and just paste it. I'm gonna cancel, uh, continue on browser. And we are going to cancel. So we get the same message, but it's much more clean. And um, since I already accepted it, uh, it, it works like that. But now if I, for example, open a new browser, I don't know if I have an incognito. Yes, so we are here with the incognito and I paste the same link I'm going to cancel, continue on the browser. Allow my mic and uh, uh, camera. I'm going to turn that off. Uh, what you see here is you can add your name at the top. You are completely anonymous. So uh, this is my ID. And I click join. And you hear it maybe on the background, but um, let's go here. I've got also um, another person unverified. So that's also a difference uh, between uh, external, that's somebody who has an email ID, has a Teams account, and uh, unverified, that's an anonymous person. So you can choose to add them or uh, don't add them. So I'm going to add. And um, when I start my meeting now, start, I still have the same features as I have in, um, in my normal uh, meetings. I'm going to mute this. Um, so it works exactly the same. So we see here that uh, if we are in the, let's go to the incognito, uh, we, we see that we can uh, do the webinar. If we are uh, as an, uh, the other user, we can uh, go to the webinar, um, but we don't have presenter roles. So this is the one thing I wanted to point out. So um, if you want to know more about Teams, you can click on this video. Uh, and webinars, I also have one.